For those people who don't know me, Devin the Dream Haney. After a hard workout, I always make sure I take my proglycosin. Great for recovery. Recovery is a, a big part of training, and uh, take your proglycosin, you'll feel much better. Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here in Las Vegas, being joined with the Hall of Fame promoter, Mr. Bob Arum, who is promoting Tyson Fury's fight this weekend here on ESPN against Tom Schwartz. Tyson Fury, what a character, huh? He's rest. He's the best. <laughs> I mean, I'm having such a good time with him. I mean, I can understand why the public has reached out to him and is fascinated with him because he is really, truly a great character. Must be good to get back in the swing of, of promoting heavyweights, huh? Well, certainly a heavyweight as charismatic as Tyson Fury. I mean, otherwise, I don't care, you know, what weight the fighter is. Uh, but if he's a charismatic heavyweight, that tops everything. Yeah, it makes it that much better. You know, he's fighting Tom Schwartz and a lot of uh, casual fans. The, the boxing fans know why this fight's happening and we've heard the interviews that you've done in the past where you want to build up Tyson Fury but for the casual sports fan they're gonna look at this fight and wonder well wait a second why isn't he fighting Deontay Wilder this weekend why is he fighting Tom Schwartz well the, uh, we all got together and realized that to make the Fury Wilder fight as big as it should be you have to build it and you have to build it by making the public more familiar with both of these guys. Now that hasn't been the case up to now. That first fight that they did was tremendous, but it was underappreciated because nobody really knew Fury. And while some people here knew Wilder, he hadn't yet resonated. So I think that uh, uh, the people with Wilder are now doing a really good job building him uh, to be even a bigger personality than he was before. And we have an obligation, uh, working with Fury, to make him what he is larger than life. And when these two guys meet together, probably early next year, I really am shooting for this to do more pay-per-view buys than uh, Mayweather Pacquiao. You know, Mayweather Pacquiao, as charismatic as both of them uh, were, or you could say even are, uh, are two little guys. Now you have two giants who have great personalities and great ability fighting each other, and there's no reason why you can't do more business than you did for Mayweather Pacquiao. Wilder announced that the rematch is going to happen, that it, it was signed. Is that the case, or is that kind of a little too early for him to say that? We're not going to talk about anything like that until after this fight's over, and then we're going to have to say something after this fight's over, and we're not going to contradict Wilder. Uh, it's our goal is for this fight to happen uh, sometime in the first quarter of next year, hopefully as close to after the Super Bowl as possible. You've seen so many fighters over your time promoting it and so many heavyweights. When you look at Tyson Fury and what he has skills-wise, how do you compare him to some of the other heavyweights from the past? The only one that's close is Ali. I mean, nobody has demonstrated in the heavyweight division the kind of boxing ability uh, that Tyson Fury has other than Ali. Uh, and I really look... That's big praise there, because a lot of people hear that and be like, whoa, that's, you're, you're treading on like hallowed ground there. Well, it's not hallowed ground because heavyweights haven't been really known for great boxing ability. Klitschko is the closest uh, to, uh, you know, in his peak, uh, demonstrate once Emmanuel Stewart took over training him uh, great boxing ability but other than that it it's, goes back to Ali uh, I mean Jimmy Young people can say if they remember but
But Young was just a stinker. It wasn't. It wasn't a great fight. And post, nobody in your audience remembers Jimmy Young. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Bob. Right. So. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think he. I, 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 Tyson Fury is something special, and it makes such a compelling fight with Wilder because Wilder doesn't have the boxing ability of Tyson Fury, but has this really devastating heavyweight punch, which is reminiscent, you know, I'm showing my age, of uh, either Big George or uh, Ernie Chavis, for example. Do you think it's a bigger punch than those guys? I, it may be. It's hard to say. It's just certainly as it's hard to rate who has a bigger punch if the punch just knocks guys dead. It's, it's just he's just a really big puncher, which most heavyweights are not. What did you make of that fight that he had against Brazil and, and him knocking him out in, in the first round? He, you know, Brazil hit him and got overconfident. And you get overconfident with Wilder, and you expose yourself. Wilder will nail you and knock you out. Simple as that. He's a great, great puncher. You can't make mistakes when you fight Deontay Wilder. With this fight against Schwartz, do you think Tyson needs to get a, a knockout like that to build into what you guys want to be into this huge rematch fight? Does he need to have a performance like Wilder had against Brazil? No, you have to just show, Fury has to show himself that what a great boxer he is, how he handles Schwartz, who's a big son of a, big tough son of a gun with, with decent ability. Uh, and he doesn't necessarily have to knock him out because maybe uh, Schwartz is not knock out, a, you know. He not easy to knock out. Not easy to knock out, yeah. Try to create a word there. I, I, I've done that many times. Not knockoutable? Knockoutable. There we go. <laughs>